Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Daredevil issue 2 legacy number 650. This is from the 2022 series obviously. Written by Chip Zdarsky, art by Marco Cicchetto, Matthew Wilson, color artist. The second backup story is written by Chip Zdarsky with flashback art by Raphael Della Torre. The second story is called The Hand written by Anne Nascenti with art by Chip Zdarsky. Both stories are lettered by VCs Clayton Cowles. I have the regular cover which is by Marco Cicchetto and Matthew Wilson. Associate editor Tom Groneman, Devin Lewis editor. And so Daredevil is still trying to deal with this whole guardian angel thing and he has to try and stop Goldman but every time he tries to something crazy happens including a subway car crash which ends up getting Daredevil trapped and some local citizens come to his rescue. We get a flashback story where Matt first puts on a red blindfold and goes to save a Electra and her dad. Uh, that was pretty weak. And the art in that is far inferior. So I wasn't real impressed with that one. But the sequences with Matthew talking to Goldie and trying to stop him from doing whatever he's doing. Uh, that was fairly good. There is several pages in here that are really wasted. A lot of one page panels that are glorified pinups with very varied art. There's one where he's standing in front of a poster of Wilson Fisk and he looks fat. Like not Wilson. Matt looks like he needs to do some sit-ups. So, real mixed bag on some of the interior art, and it really does highlight Marco Cicchetto's art and the use of the rain in here, and I'm not a giant fan of Cicchetto's work, but this is some of his better work. He needs to work on faces, especially mouths and chins and facial stubble. I don't know why everything looks like they shaved a ferret and glued the hair on people's chins, but he needs to really work on that. Beyond that, I had no real problem with the art. The story was a little long-winded because they kept doing these flashbacks with lots of big panels and it was just there to take up space they could have minimized a lot of that and made it take less pages then it would be six dollars the backup story about some locals helping daredevil who also are kind of helping the bad guys too they're just trying to get by i thought that was kind of boring and it was relatively pointless i wasn't a real big fan of that one and i'm not a fan of zadarsky's art i think he's a better writer than he is artist but the use of shading was really well done there's some raccoons fighting outside so please ignore that if you hear it there's a mini marvel's like cartoon thing that looks like it belongs in a bubblegum wrapper from joe bazooka so that was stupid and then there's this waste of pages where there's these tiny little thumbnails of all the covers and uh you can't really see much of anything on them so it's a giant waste of multiple pages there's a lot in here they could have trimmed out but they wanted to charge me six dollars for something i guess at least the cover quality is much much better and the paper quality is far superior to what they normally use so that would have been worth a little bit to me at least but overall this is not worth the cover price unfortunately this is a three dollar book with a lot of bonuses that don't need to be there that nobody asked for and a lot of one page panels and large panels that add nothing the backup story is worthless and pointless the little cartoon thing was stupid and the thumbnails for the covers are borderline indecipherable because they're so small so that was dumb this should have been just a regular issue and as usual this is written for the trade paperback so this story is very long-winded and takes a long time to get there with not a whole lot of action. The story elements were good, but they're very cinematic, so it'd be better to read it in trade paperback because not enough happens in the book otherwise. This is very, very middle story, and it's issue two. And they still haven't really reintroduced Daredevil. It's like this series is just picking up from the last one, and they just started numbering again because they want to make more money. So we didn't get a reintroduction to his origin. Not really. There's elements of his history here, but they don't really tell you anything about the character it's not a good jumping on point for the majority of readers i think so if you're a new reader this series is not going to tell you anything about matt murdoch other than the fact that at some point in the past he staged his own death that's all you're really going to get it doesn't really allude to any citations or anything like that there's no history of his background and origins of how he got his powers none of that it's just jumping into a new story arc and renumbering it there it should be a mini series then so it's very deceptive on that front this is not worth six bucks get it out of a bargain bin or buy it in trade and save yourself the money the backup story doesn't add anything the little cartoon thing was pointless and stupid it wasn't funny although the art was better in that than the backup story and the montage of covers was really silly and pointless the pluses like i said are that the cover quality is great paper quality is a vast improvement unfortunately none of that justifies the cost of the book i would say try and find it for half the cover price or less or get it in trade and read it that way 
so you can get a complete story instead of act two of a movie that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button share it on your social media and subscribe if you haven't if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one